Hello there, Dr. Mintz here. This is a, a patient that came in with left-sided facial numbness. Now there are several other sequences that were done on this CT head or on this MRI head, but I'm going right to the process, the, the sequence we call diffusion-weighted images. It's a very elegant portrayal of what the fusion images can accomplish. So this patient has a lot of scattered areas of signal abnormality that are probably just chronic white matter changes. And here, if we look at this sequence, this is, these are the standard diffusion weighted images. You see that there is a little tiny bright area here. It looks like most of the rest of them. You see right next to the ventricle here. And it looks like the one that's here, kind of, and the one that's over here. But if you compare that with the ADC diffusion image, in exactly the same area, there is a decreased area of signal, whereas in the other areas, it's increased. It so happens that it's all been worked out where this pattern of having a focus of, of increased activity, even if it's only slightly increased, and seeing that that same area gives you decreased activity or in, in decreased signal on the ADC sequence indicates that it's acute. So a very small acute infarct. But where is it? Will it account for the patient's symptoms of left-sided facial numbness? Well, let's go up to the top and find our friend, the cingulate sulcus right here. So we know this is the central sulcus. And so this is post-central gyrus, which would make it sensory cortex. And you know that post-central gyrus is where the uh, face and mouth particularly are disproportionately represented. And if you look here, this little tiny dark signal there is very close to the location of the mouth area and face area, the mid portion, in other words, of this post-central gyrus or sensory cortex. So I would guess normally that it would be all oh, around here somewhere. And it is in that area that we see this very low, very subtle but definite low signal abnormality. And we see also the bright signal here. Now let's follow that up. See, we're immediately inferior to the post-central gyrus. Cingulate sulcus, central sulcus. Pre-central gyrus, post-central gyrus. Follow the post-central gyrus down, and it's right around here, right here, but I'll get my cursor out of the way. And right here is where that abnormality is. So this is presumably a very small acute infarct which is affecting the white matter tracts, the nerve fibers going to and from that area of the post-central gyrus, the, central, the sensory cortex, which represents the face. And of course, it's a patient with left facial numbness, so this is exactly the kind of finding we'd expect to find in a patient with that neurologic presentation.